On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty! Your no Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment! Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the are you the one then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns! Which of you is it? Is it you? Ah, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it worry not, Vessel? Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. to lay about, get a move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. It would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. Time for you to get to work. Living hard, but dreams are free. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Quite cluttered. Pray leap, or oh, uh, aught that poses a hindrance to you. There's aught watching me. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate.
swift strikes are a beast of greatest weapon. Watch for an opening, then press your foe till they are overwhelmed. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge incoming attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons that are ever combatant. Escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! Ah, quickly! This way, Arisen! Come this way. Let us flee. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. It's getting away. Bring it down. Bring it down. Go now, lost soul, and learn all you can of this world you must protect.
Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. If you find your strength flashing, it buy the curative or have a green one. When one of the fiends comes to you, let's die or dodge. Else you'll be sore on the morrow. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Welcome, Arisen.
We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. together to honor the Arisen's trust. A grand adventure awaits us. I just know it. I hope I can count on you in a scrape.
Boy there, my pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. and turning in early, I must say. We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads alike. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? A material. Useful things, these. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. everything assembled a job well done if I do say so myself boy did you need something this is from Sir Jeffrey is it let's have a look then He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was... Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as tis. Say, your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. <laughs> We know what we're looking for, but not where it is. I suppose there's naught for it but to start searching. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking... How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Haven't you anything for me yet? Well, you best get to it then.
sure we report back now? Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Brilliant! I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. I'm out. Now there's a worthy. Oi! Many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deed all round. Apple. Like it or not, I must go to duty call. This ladder can take us to new heights. After you, Arisen. Hail. You a soldier? Could be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The hide can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Accardo's as well, I'm sure. We ought not to dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. We're in fine form. Although, we'll soon be sorry to have challenged us. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste.
Come to think of it, the private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> Of my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. less than what one might have expected. It will find a use for it, I'm sure. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. It's a goodly deed we've done. Now Sir Ricardo can return to his duty in good health. Such moments make me proud.
I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. that I could stay with you forever, Arisen. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Ah, it is a pleasure to meet you. I pray my efforts aid your cause. I bid you farewell, Arisen. I trust you will not soon forget the supremacy of the bow. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. 